Hey everyone, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and this is going to be my detailed overview of the McLeod aluminum flywheel which does fit a wide variety of applications including your 96 to 04 Cobra and Mach 1, the 99 to mid 2001 GT and then finally all 2011 through 2014 Boss and GT Mustangs. So this detailed overview is going to cover my thoughts on making the switch to an aluminum flywheel from McLeod, what some of the benefits are going to be, and then finally we'll cover some of the bigger points of the installation process. And probably no surprise to anybody watching out there, the transmission will need to be dropped and while that's not the hardest job in the world, it is a little difficult depending on your tool and lift situation. So I'm going to knock it up to a soft 3 out of 3 wrenches on the difficulty scale with some more detail later on. So the aluminum flywheel from McLeod is going to be a big time upgrade for the 4, 6 and 5 liter owners out there who are still rocking that heavy factory flywheel or maybe a different steel aftermarket flywheel and want to shed a nice chunk of weight from the rotating mass, help the car pull through the gears a little bit quicker and maybe help the car just feel a little bit more responsive overall. Your only slight drawback when making the change to an aluminum flywheel like this might be a minor hit to your overall drivability in addition to the possibility of some chatter depending on what clutch you end up going with. That leads me to my next point, you can use whatever clutch you essentially want to here with the aluminum flywheel from McLeod, but it's been my experience in the past that sticking with the same manufacturers for both the flywheel and clutch typically gets you the best results. Now the argument between using a heavier steel flywheel and a lighter aluminum or chromoly flywheel is not exactly a new one been around a long time but the general rule of thumb to keep in mind is here the heavier flywheel is going to be beneficial in two big ways. First and foremost it's going to be great to get a big heavy car moving off the line thanks to inertia. In addition to that it's also going to make the car just feel a little easier to drive in stop and go type situations. Other than that the lightweight flywheels are going to shine basically everywhere else. I'm a big fan in removing rotational mass, I think it's nothing but a plus, and by switching to the aluminum option here from McLeod, you certainly are going to be doing that. But let's get a little further into the construction and materials here with the McLeod option. Again, this is their aluminum version, CNC machine 6061 T6 aluminum to be exact. Now this is just one of a few different options from McLeod for your flywheel needs. They do have a nodular iron version. They have a lightweight steel version that will be slightly less weight compared to your factory flywheel. We then have the aluminum version that we have in this video. And then last but not least, we have the chromoly steel version, which will be the lightest of the bunch. Now all of these different flywheels, of course, have their own benefits and they will all vary in price slightly. Now McLeod actually recommends using this particular flywheel with both supercharged and turbocharged applications, or in their words, any car that sees rapid RPM levels, which honestly, let's be frank here, this could mean anybody. Blown, boosted, naturally aspirated, it doesn't really matter. This thing is also SFI certified, which is huge because if you're serious about competing with your car, this certification is required in a lot of different sanctioned bodies of racing or different racing organizations. Other important things to point out include a ring gear featuring 164 teeth. The McLeod flywheel has also been zero balance, which means there's no need for any external weights or counterbalancing. And last but not least, it has been designed to fit the eight bolt main cars. And this leads me to my next point. A lot of you guys are watching probably going, hey, I don't know if I have a six bolt main or an eight bolt main. Well, here's the story in a nutshell. Romeo built engines feature a six bolt main, whereas Windsor built engines feature an eight bolt main. And this is mainly gonna be directed towards the older SN95 GTs because pretty much all of the S197 GT and Boss Mustangs, along with the older four valve cars like the Cobras and the Mach 1s all feature an eight bolt main. And a quick and easy way to find out whether you have a six or eight bolt main is by checking the VIN number. Now, if the eighth character or letter in your VIN starts with a W, you actually have a Romeo built engine and that means you have a corresponding six bolt crank. I know it seems a little confusing. Why don't they use an R with the Romeo instead of a W? But trust me, if it's a W, you have a six bolt main and this will not be for you. On the other hand, if you have a Windsor built engine, you will have an X in the eighth position of your VIN number, meaning your engine was built at the Windsor factory and therefore you have the corresponding eight bolt main crankshaft, meaning this flywheel from McLeod will work for you. 
But let's switch gears and talk about price here with the McLeod option. And I think you're gonna find that this thing is priced in the same ballpark as a lot of other aftermarket aluminum flywheels here on the site. You can certainly spend a little bit more dough and go with a billet aluminum option from both spec or center force. But for the mid to high $300 price point, you're getting a very well-made piece here with the McLeod aluminum option at a very competitive price. Moving on to the installation here, gang. And like I said earlier, obviously that transmission will need to be dropped. The factory or aftermarket clutch will need to be removed as well in order to gain access to your flywheel. So therefore I'm sticking with a full three out of three wrenches on the difficulty scale. And depending on your garage setup or your level of mechanical expertise, anywhere from a couple of hours in the garage or shop to a half or even a full day. Now, obviously you're gonna need a good set of tools to tackle this one in addition to a lift. I would highly recommend one if you have access to one because doing a transmission or a clutch on your back is never a good time. Now, if you've never dropped the transmission before, it's really not the hardest job in the world. However, there are a few steps involved that can make it a little tedious. First and foremost, obviously you're gonna need to drop that exhaust and that drive shaft along with removing the physical transmission itself. Again, this can be a little difficult if you're doing it by yourself and if you don't have access to a transmission lift or a lift itself. Having the right tools will certainly make this job go a lot smoother. Now, once everything is out of the way and the flywheel is exposed, removing it along with the clutch is pretty straightforward. However, when doing the new job here or when doing the new flywheel, just make sure you have some blue Loctite on hand or thread locker along with the torque wrench so you can torque the new flywheel down to around 70 foot-pounds. If you are installing a new clutch at this time, obviously that goes on next, and obviously I highly recommend doing a new clutch at the same time as the flywheel while everything is down, the transmission is out, just save yourself the headache, do two birds with one stone. Once this is in place and that clutch is installed, go ahead and reassemble the car, including putting the transmission back, drive shaft and exhaust, and you should be all wrapped up. The McLeod aluminum flywheel that we have in this video would be a great choice to shed some rotational mass off of your Mustang, whether 4, 6, or 5 liter, and honestly would be a great combo with any McLeod clutch that we have here on the site. If you do plan on racing your car, the SFI certification will be a biggie, in addition to just a quality made piece for a very reasonable price. So that is my review of the McLeod lightweight aluminum flywheel, which you can find right here at AmericanMuscle.com.